everybody, what's going on? Rob here. Uh, I know it's been quite a few, quite a few days actually since I've been around. Um, got a little issue going on that came out of nowhere on me. Um, I'm telling you, this chair has been killing me. But um, uh, I'll tell you guys, it, it don't matter. Um, you may see it anyway. But uh, the other day I bent down to clean my cat litter like I always do every day. And I bent down and stood up and felt like I was squinting, you know, like I was doing this. I squint a lot, I'm super light sensitive. That's why a lot of the times it won't be bright when I'm doing these because I'm super. But anyway, <clears throat> I'm doing this and doing this and I'm like, it feels like I can't open my eye. So I close this eye. I got about 95, I got about 5% vision here. I can only see light and shadows. So my allergies happened to be bad that day as well. So, you know, I didn't take any of my allergy stuff because I've been doing okay. I generally don't take it because it's seasonal. Um, so I started, uh, well, I, I was out of them, so I had to go to the pharmacy. So I figured I'd talk to the pharmacist and he saw a case earlier that day, which somebody had vision issues. So he thought, he thought that's what it was. So I took all the meds, you know, I double dosed it and all that stuff. And, day and a half later, no change. So then I began to worry. No pain, no itchy, nothing. Like there's nothing aside from my, I can't see out of it. Uh, so, uh, took me a couple of days to get a damn appointment because medical sucks everywhere anymore. Uh, and one of them was a disaster. I, I wind up canceling that one because they put me through a bunch of shit. And the other one was really great. So the other day I went and uh, three hours I was there. And you go through, you get the eye exam, you gotta do all the bullshit, even though you just wanted to look at your freaking eye. So you do all that and they test it and all that crap and then throw me in another waiting area, which I waited for an hour to see the doctor. Anyway, to the point. Um, I have what's called a white cataract. Um, it's in this eye here. I don't know if it's going to show on camera. This is the first time I'm doing it and I won't redo it, so unless I fuck it up. Um, it's called a white cataract. Generally, guys don't get, it's, you know, it's a male thing generally, but an older male thing. Generally, it doesn't pop up to your late 60s, 70s. Um, but it's so, it's not only is it a white cataract, it is extremely dense. So they can't see through it in order to see if my retina is uh, detached, which is a very high possibility. Um, it can happen without pain. So now I'm making a decision of, there's a scan I can get, but it's like a thousand bucks and it comes out of pocket um, to see if the retina is attached. And, but if it, I mean, to have the, the cataract removed, it's like three grand. So, once I get that done, they can go back and look behind it. The thing is, they won't know until that's removed, and if they remove that, and then uh, the retina is detached, I just wasted that money to have that done. So I don't know what I'm doing. It's up in the air. I'm highly frustrated. Um, I always said I would uh, rather go blind than deaf because of music. Um, it's funny how this has affected me. You kind of lose your depth perception quite a bit. Um, and I can see light, so I'm a little bit lucky on that end because that helps a little better with it. But, uh, you know, walking into things and driving and stuff like that is just you don't realize how much you need that versus your hearing, you know? Um, I'm really, because you can't even find your records or you put them on or anything if you can't see them, you know? So my mind has completely changed on that. Um, the biggest scare was if, uh, if this happens so quickly, which they gave me shit about that, oh, that couldn't have happened that quickly. Like, I bent down and I stood up and I was fucking blind in my eye. What do you mean it couldn't happen that quickly? It happened that quickly. I get there may have been a, a progression there, but for it to go from zero to nothing, you know, it just pisses me off when they do that. 
But I'm like, this is what happened, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, that's why I haven't been around. I really haven't been watching the videos. Um, it's, just been, it's just been down. <laughs> I've just been down. Um, I'm trying to get out of the funk. Um, it's, it's really minor in life, but I think I'd almost rather lose fingers or something than, than my eye, you know? Anyway, I'm going to get into my stuff. I got a couple of packages uh, over the last week. I uh, semi opened because the boxes were destroyed again. No damage, thank God, so I'm not going to bitch. By the way, Chris from uh, Vinyl Transmission, he did a, a, an impression of me for my contest as part of his video. I have not laughed that hard in years. The, if you guys haven't watched it, go to my playlist for, for my 250 subscriber, subscriber contest and watch Vinyl Transmission's video. Everything about it is fucking gold. Uh, I watched it the other day because it makes me laugh. If you can't laugh at yourself, man, you shouldn't be laughing at anybody, right? Amazing. Uh, that topped your other one, bud. I don't even know what to say. When I seen it, when I seen the video first started, I'm like, what? I thought I hit one of my videos by accident. All right, anyway, I'm going to get to it. Thanks for the laugh. I did need that. I'm going to get to it. Uh, the first one is something I picked up for, for a little peach, let's say. Um, and this is the uh, album Love Hate Black Out in the Red Room. I'm not going to show the vinyl stuff. It's just, it's kind of a, well, fuck it. I'm not going to show it. Uh, this is this uh, VCLT I picked up with another album. Um, got it for a good price, so I figured, what the hell. So it's going out soon. Next is a another album I really didn't know existed until uh, Kenneth from Great Short Films 1, I got it right that time, uh, mentioned it. I didn't know either of these albums existed. I, I mean, not on vinyl, I, I should say. Um, Anthem's one I showed you guys the other day is basically the 2012 version of this, but with extra songs and obviously a different cover and name and shit like that. I think that's a Europe European uh, release versus this is you know all over and this is on deadline records but this is sealed new got it for really really cheap um, and I went and looked as soon as I seen Kenneth's post I'm like damn it now I gotta find it so I went and looked and I found one right away super cheap so I picked it up uh, there it is it has all their hits 10 hits uh, just got lucky breaking the change into the fire the hunter in my dreams it's not love Alone Again, Dream Warriors, uh, Unchained the Night, and Tooth and Nail. So, I had to pick it up for that. Uh, no winner. Uh, it is on red vinyl, although it looks very, and it's very mauve <laughs> It's more like a, like a purple or red, you know, mauve to me, but I'm blind right now, so I don't know what the fuck it looks like. Um, it also, that's also affecting my colors. Um, so that may be red to you guys, but to me it looks small. Um, dusty as hell for being sealed. I mean, it's literally dusty as hell. Anyway, there's that. Just my collector in me had to. Uh, where's my knife? Come on. Alright, guys, hold on one second. Please don't fall camera. Okay. Alright, now. Oh, I didn't get the one I was expecting. Okay. Uh, this is one that's been on my mental list, um, which is massive, uh, to pick up, but they sold out the first pressing, and then this is actually the second pressing. And I was watching a video the other day, and it reminded me again that I need to get this album. Uh, uh, Lyricide. Lyricide. 17. If you guys don't know him, check out his channel. Pretty interesting cat. Uh, I like him. I watch all his videos. I don't get to, to respond a lot, you know. Got so many goddamn people to get to, to get to. So it's hard for me to get everybody. Especially recently, like I said, I haven't been doing shit when it comes up online stuff. So. Anyway, the band is Satan's Hollow. 
Uh, this, I think this is a 2300 pressed. I think it's 300 pressed. I'm gonna go with that for now. This is the second pressing as I mentioned, and there is the front. Yeah, it even says second press in the back. That's kind of cool. Um, there, it's a female front. Uh, uh, I don't know what you'd call them. I guess new wave style. And it's thick stock. But really good. Uh, I've listened to them on, on the YouTube a lot. But the, the owner, what the guy, who is it, the guy in there? One of these guys. I think... I think the drummer actually owns this record company that distributor is called the Food Child Records, and he actually owns this company. Uh, there is the sleeve, nice uh, poly line sleeve, which I love. Well, oh, that's pretty. And it's like a black, and it, it looks brown to me, but I'm sure it's red. Uh, black and red vinyl, transparent a little bit. Finally, glad to have that in my collection. Um, it's just one of those things, you know, we all got that mental checklist. There's things that we want that we forget to put on our want list. But when we see it, we know we want it, you know, so that's how this was. And I mean, really cheap price, 20, I was like 20 bucks for a limited press like that. And, you know, just a, just a really good album. If you haven't checked those guys out, check them out. Um, female fronted, by the way, I think I may have said that, I don't know. Um, Okay, so I don't know what this one is. I'm waiting for, I thought this was a really, uh, one I, I was dying to find that I honestly thought I would never come across and I got it for a fairly decent price. I, I may have paid a little bit more than, but I wanted it. So. I don't know what this is. It's newspaper. I win. <clears throat> I, I, I totally forgot what, what I... I don't remember this one at all, so... I know this is a seller I buy from. Oh no, this is it. Okay. Oh shit. That's not the name. Oh, fucking awesome. I can't believe I have this in my hand. Um, not many gonna know this one. This is one of the ones, you know, younger stuff that I love. Uh, is it fantastic music? No. But it's just my wheelhouse, my time frame as a... It would be a teen, right? A teen or... It had to be like 87. I, I really can't see now. <laughs> Yep, 1987. Uh, you're gonna love this one. And uh, this is the Painted Town, right? Red, right? Yeah. The band's called Hans Naughty, and the album's called Paint the Town Red. <laughs> uh, this bit's sealed. I don't understand. It's sealed. I don't understand why people don't say <laughs> the records are sealed. Cause all right, you. I talk too much to so that album, the album ended, so you're gonna have to listen to me and that clicking in my damn phone. I still need to upgrade my phone, I just haven't had time to go do that. Or if I had time, I don't feel like sitting at Sprint for two fucking hours because they're a pain in the ass. All right, guys, sorry this is taking so long. This is really tight. I'm actually kind of worried about the, the warping. All right. So anyway, this has been the one in, in my head that I'm like, I'm never ever going to find this. And if I do, it's probably going to be like, you know, one of those hundred dollar albums. And... Alright. Well, there is the cover without the... <laughs> There's the... <laughs> That's this fantastic 1987 music. I mean, look. <laughs> uh, those were the days, right guys? Oh, there is an error, okay. Come on, stop playing with me right now. 
don't know why I had this damn jacket on. It's fucking. There's the inner with the lyrics on one side, nothing on the back. Um, still has the fan club information in it. Obviously, it was never opened, so. Uh, it's on black vinyl, obviously. Uh, it's on Ironworks uh, Records. Ironworks label, records, whatever. Uh, custom label, obviously, since it's an indie release. And on that side, Hans. No way. Uh, typical music. Ride in the classroom, someone smile, rock FO, rock the fuck out. Uh, paint the town red, tears in the night, you know, baby leaves me alone, where's all the music at? Hey, say hey, hey, get ripped. And you know, that's 1987 in a nutshell. Anyway, super fucking happy to have that. I, I still, that's one of those albums like you get. It doesn't, I mean, I'm like that. It doesn't have to be the most expensive album in the world. Um, you know, it's just, some of these are just whole hard to find. Anyway, there's that. I'm really happy to have that. It makes my day. I thought that was something else. Uh, this has actually been delayed twice. Um, Jody knows. He's, he ordered the same thing I did. And uh, just got a notification the other day that this was finally shipped. And this is... This is Dawkins' new live album, Return to the East, 2016. Um, this, you got it through Pledge Music. Um, this was a limited press run of 150, I think it is. It's 100 or 150. It's been a while, I don't remember. Um, and these are green, this is, should be green vinyl. Uh, Pricey. I mean, paid quite a bit for it, but Doc is my band, so. Uh, so there it is outside. It's got a brand new studio track on there, which is really what I wanted. Uh, it's called It's Another Day. Uh, all, it's like a greatest hits live. Kiss of Death, The Hunter, Unchained. And there's two acoustic bonus tracks, which are actually good. Uh, but... Knowing how docking sound in the past five years, I knew it wasn't going to be great. Um, uh, not only that, it turns out when I, because I got the, uh, the digital download, which I actually downloaded because I knew this wasn't coming for a while. Uh, and I listened to the album on there. It's a bad live album. Uh, Doc, Don's not that bad in it, but you can tell. They're, they're, they're dropping keys, I mean, so he can even cut it. Um... But it's pieced. You can tell it's not one live concert. It's a pieced concert, which I hate that kind of shit. I want the whole live show, you know? So that part I was really disappointed in. Uh, quality's okay. I mean, it's docking, so I gotta have it. That's basically what it comes down to. Uh, they're beats from the East. I mean, they're never gonna beat that. I mean, they're just too old to do that. Band sounds great. Uh, this is with the original band members, Jeff Peelson and George Lynch. Uh, that's why this is also kind of a, a cool release. But I had to have it. My, that's the Dockenite in me. And there's the interior uh, gatefold. Like literally this will probably never get played. It's just a collector's piece right now. Interested to see what the vinyl looks like. Alright, it's supposed to be green. And it's green. It's not great, but it's green. It's like a hunter green. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but uh, that's, side, that's one of the, it's a obviously it's a uh, double double final. See, on this side, it's probably going to be the same, so I'm not sure if it's the vinyl out. It's same green vinyl, it has different uh, center rings. So, anyway, guys, there's my shit. Um, 
I think that may be it. I think I got some CDs coming in that the bands are just releasing this month. Um, I haven't bought anything because I got to pay for surgery for this fucker. So, but anyway, thank you guys. Uh, I'll be back. I'm just just getting through right now. So don't think I'm ignoring you guys. I just I've been catching a video like here and there. Like I caught one or two today. So I'm not ignoring anybody. I'm not. I'm all right. I'm just on the downside of things. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subbing. I got a couple more new subs. Um, contest still goes to the end of the month, so you got plenty of time for that. Uh, I got a couple I need to watch um, that you guys have posted to. So, I'll check those out and I'll add them to the playlist. If you did a, if you did a, a, a video and you didn't comment, I won't know you did it most of the time. Especially if you're a new subscriber. Because I, I may have not subbed you yet. If you sub me, I generally sub you. Um, if I haven't already. Uh, and yeah, so check that playlist. It, my 250 subscriber playlist. If you're not on there after today, then let me know. Because again, if you don't comment saying you made a video, I may not know. Anyway guys, I'm rambling again. Thank you very much. Um, appreciate you guys. Spending your time here. I say it all the time because I really do. Uh, you know, that's why I come back because the interaction with you guys. Talk to y'all real soon and y'all have a really, really good day.